What is up, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition, where we will be taking on part 5 of the custom night mode in the third bedroom. And for this room, we're going to be dealing with Wario, Mario, and Donkey, Donkey Kong. And I've set them all to their levels, so... Anyways, without further ado, we will take on part 5 of the custom night mode in the third bedroom and see what has to offer for us. And I'm drinking some Diet Pepsi for this video that I got from Sal's Pizza since I'm, since I'm thirsty. Okay, we have a radio. We have a radio, eye blinker, and a camera. Okay. Master bedroom. Okay, well, Interesting. bad news. That camera was not set up in there. If you check your pad, yeah, see, it isn't there. So you'll have to guess where they are coming from. So if someone enters your room, the room is pretty dark. So try closing your eyes until they go away, so they can't see you. Some ghosts may not be fooled by this, though. What? You found a radio? Okay. Try turning that on if a certain music-hating ghost should enter your room. You should scare them away. Alright, so... What? When you close your eyes, you can see a figure fading in? A figure? Okay, um, well, it might be because you're panicking and your mind's messing with you. Just make sure you open your eyes again before your mind messes with you completely. Alright, talk to you later. Good night. Be safe. Okay, so we have to check the door for whoever's coming, because that's the only area for the of the room that has light in it, because because the room is really dark. And depending on the ghost, we either have to close our eyes or use the radio. And whoever's coming when we close our eyes, we have to open our eyes, because he's a hallucination. All right, I'm gonna check the cameras for right now. Ah, it's Mario. God, I hate it when I check a certain camera; it will trigger a sound if there's an animatronic in that camera or ghost, whatever you want to call it. Oh, Wario's swimming in the indoor pool. Take a look at that. <laughs> I guess Wario's not afraid to swim in the pool in this game because. Like he is in Trap Within, because in Finance of Warriors Trap Within, he's too scared to jump in the pool. And Luigi's the only one who jumps in the pool. <laughs> That's really interesting. I mean, in the indoor pool, War Wario doesn't go in the indoor pool. Like, he just comes in the room and then you have to jump in. Luigi's the one that goes in the pool. I don't know why the phone guy said that there's no camera in there when there clearly is. I don't know. Okay, I'm checking the doorway to see who's coming. Because that's how we'll know who's coming if we check the doorway. And then we also gotta check the kit. Whoa! Okay, so if Mario comes in the room, then we have to use the radio, and I, th and I think for Wario, we have to close our eyes if he's there, and then, and then, I don't know what's how to deal with, I don't know what we're going to do, um, if, if a hallucination appears. Alright, so, at least we know for Mario, we got to use the radio for him, and, I, and I'm assuming for Wario, we have to close our eyes. And I actually thought that radio would be scary, but it's not. It just it just plays a broadcast station. I don't know why that is. Whoop! Up, oh, Wario's here. We gotta close our eyes. Ah, Donkey Kong.
Okay, so for Wario, um, if Wario's at the door, we have to close our eyes. But if Donkey Kong starts to appear when we close our eyes, we have to open them up and open our eyes because Donkey Kong is a hallucination in this game. And I think if he jump scares you, he'll disable your mechanics like the camera, radio, and the, the blinking eye system. Okay, so I got rid of Wario. I closed my eyes again just in case if Wario was still in the room, but he wasn't, so that's good. Donkey Kong started to appear though. And I'd open my eyes because he would have he would have jump scared me if I didn't, so that's good. Alright, so Mario and Wario are gonna be the ones coming from the door. Donkey Kong will see when we have our eyes closed for a certain period of time. And then we gotta open them to get rid of them. Since he's a hallucination. Okay, is Wario in the pool again? Okay, good. That's actually really funny. In Trapped Within, there's actually a painting of Wario in the indoor pool. Okay, let me check those cameras. Okay, Mario's in the study, Wario's in the attic. I was just checking the cameras. Now I'm going to check the door, because I think they could be coming any minute or so. And then for Donkey Kong, he only comes when we have our eyes closed. Okay, so far nobody's came to the door, so that's good. Not right now, meaning a couple hours ago there. Alright, and we've beaten part 4 of the custom night mode in the third bedroom, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so what do we have next? I'll take a look at the room we're, that we're doing next. Okay, so the room we have next to do, let's see. Okay, so the next room we have, we have to do for this video is the second kitchen. And I will take on the second kitchen as well in this video since we have enough time to do it. Okay, so for the second kitchen, Yoshi and Ashley are active for this room. Okay, so... So, before I get started with the... With the second kitchen, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna set Yoshi and Ashley to their levels and then deactivate everyone else. Since they're the only ones we gotta deal with. Let me just set them to their levels first, and then I'm gonna set the camera... The camera to its level 2. Since we're, since we're using a camera, obviously. So anyways, without further ado, we will take on the second kitchen in part 5 of the custom night video as well and see what has to offer for us. And if I said part 4 by accident, I apologize. There's two microwaves in the kitchen. Wow. Okay, so ignore that, that, that pop of this cam. Why is there two microwaves in the kitchen? That's kind of weird. God, there's multiple phone guys in this game. You okay there, man? Oh, thank God. That's good to hear. Where did you hide for tonight? In the kitchen. I see. Well, you're in the darker corner of the kitchen, right? Good. So it should take ghosts a minute to notice you when they enter. Oh, that's what the microwave does. microwaves in there. The first one above the stove is, well, broken. What? I only bought a new one. It was never used. So, it's still in good condition. You set a timer, and if it hits zero... They have a broken microwave in the house, and they bought a new one, which is right here? What the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna so for the microwave we can either turn it on to one minute or thirty seconds. And and the sound of the microwave will slow down the characters, which is why I have it running right now. And if a character should come in, then we have to make the beeping sound. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll keep it running for a minute and probably 30 seconds maybe. I don't know. Because the microwave is going to slow them down, the sound of it. And if Ashley or Yoshi were to come in, then we have to let it beep, and that's how we can get rid of them. Okay, the, oh wait, the microwave's actually running already, even though I don't have it on a timer. I'll keep it on a timer in case if someone comes in. Okay, I'm assuming that microwave is broken and that one works. Like, why would you have two microwaves in a house if one is broken? That's just, that's kind of messed up if you ask me. Oh, so that's what the mic. Okay, so that's the microwave that works right there, and that and the microwave that's over the stove is the one that's broken. Huh? Interesting. I thought that microwave worked at first because it shows the timer on it, but this one doesn't. Why would you need two microwaves in the house anyways? That's kind of stupid. Oh, Yoshi's coming nearby, so... Okay, the pantry and the... Uh, oh, Yoshi's here. Okay, so... If Yoshi or Ashley come in, then we have to let the microwave beep, and then that will scare them away. And the pantry is the closest room to the to the kitchen, which both Ashley and Yoshi are going to go to the pantry, because I was just checking on the camera. So that's the only camera we got to focus on, is the pantry, because that's the closest to the kitchen. Which makes sense, if you ask me, because, I mean, usually a pantry is in a kitchen, so that kind of makes sense. And I'm going to keep the microwave on 30 seconds since that's actually a lot quicker than a minute. Alright, so I'm checking the pantry to see if Ashley or Yoshi come in because they're both going to appear in that room before they come in the kitchen. And if they're in the kitchen, then we have to let the microwave beep to get rid of them. Because it'll take them a few... Because... It'll, t it'll take them a few seconds to recognize you. Okay, who's in the pantry? I'm checking. Nobody's in there, so that's good. So that means we can keep the microwave running. And we gotta keep it running anyways, because that will slow down the characters. And I actually thought the and I actually thought the microwave was gonna make a louder sound instead of a instead of a ding, but I guess not. Okay, Yoshi's in the pantry, so we have to. Is Yoshi in the room? Okay, we gotta keep the microwave running to get rid of him, or I think he's gonna jump scare me. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Ah! Yep, I'm dead. Okay, great. Uh, should have kept the microwave run not running that long. <laughs> God, I didn't think Yoshi would come in this instantly. Okay, so we gotta keep the microwave running for as long as we can to scare them off. 
I'll keep it running for a minute just to be safe. Hey. Okay, I'll keep the microwave running for as long as I can. Either a minute or 30 seconds. I'm not sure. I gotta constantly keep it running. Or else they're gonna kill me. And I'm actually gonna let the microwave go down to zero seconds just so. just to keep it running. Okay, so we'll let the microwave beep, then we'll restart to 30 seconds. So that's how it's gonna work. And this mechanic's actually the same mechanic. And we actually have the same mechanic as the kitchen in Five Nights, in Five Nights Warriors Trap Within does. Where we have to turn on the microwave to scare them away. And the sound will slow them down, so that's a good thing. And apparently I didn't react to Yoshi in time, which is why I got killed. Hope I can react this time. God, I hope I can react this time. That's what I'm worried about. Because I only have a certain time to react when turning on the microwave. And I'm going to keep it on 30 seconds just because it goes by a little quicker than a minute. Because, I mean, a minute is 60, 60 seconds. Or 60 minutes, my bad. 60 minutes equal. Okay, my, that's actually my bad. 60 minutes equals an hour. That's a fact. Okay, and I'm going to constantly check the pantry since that's where Yoshi and Ashley will come from when entering the room. And then i got to constantly keep the microwave on. Because that, that will slow them down, obviously. Okay, I hope I can react to Yoshi and Ashley this time and not die at 5 a.m. Because I was doing so well until I couldn't react in time because I had the microwave still running. In Five Nights of Warriors Trap Within for the kitchen, um, the, when you turn on the microwave, it will scare them off. But in this game, you have to let it beep to scare them off. Because the microwave, cause the microwave will only slow them down. It's not going to, like, you know, stop them right away. And Yoshi and Ashley won't be in the pantry that much because the microwave is slowing them down like 95% of the time. So who knows, maybe if I'm lucky I might not have to deal with them this night, the second time around. If I'm lucky I might not have to deal with Yoshi or Ashley at all this, the second time I've been doing this. Because, I mean, the microwave is slowing them down, so that's a good thing. So as long as I keep the microwave on, then Yoshi and Ashley won't be much of a threat. Because, I mean, I didn't have to deal with Ashley at all the first time I did this. I only had to deal with Yoshi, and then he killed me because I couldn't react in time. Because I kept turning off the microwave and then turning it back on which is a bad idea, so I'm going to keep it on all time. Because if the microwave is off, then they're going to move faster. But if it's on, then they'll move slower. And so far, Yoshi and Ashley haven't appeared in the pantry. So that's a good thing, so I haven't had to worry. Oh god, Ashley's in the game room. I mean, pantry. Okay, let's turn on the microwave. I'll, I'll put it on 30 seconds because Ashley's going to come in at any minute. And we got to let it beep before she kills me.
podcast. Who's gonna come in? So I'm, so I have the microwave on because I gotta keep it on constantly. Unless if I get lucky and beat the night, because we're at 5 a.m. right now. And I died at 5 a.m. the first time I did this video. Constantly resetting it just so they don't come in. Alright, and as I predicted, we beat... We didn't have to deal with Ashley or Yoshi in the kitchen the second time around because I had the microwaves on the whole time. So that's a good thing. So let's see what's next. Okay. So the next room we have to do is the um, the storage room, which we will take on the storage.